I'm doing a tag. I'm doing a tag today. Ooh. Oh, I might be catching up on my tag. Today's tag is Barkin' Boat Book Tag, and this was origi originally created by Eric at Break Even Books, and I was tagged by Tara at Buzzword Books a long, long time ago, and I'm finally getting to it right now. One problem, probably the major problem of this, was the last prompt, and we'll get to you talking about it later, but it has to do with my cats. Prompt one, I've got a bone to pick with you. Name a book that was good until it wasn't. You were enjoying it and then it ended up disappointing you. Well, I'm in a good mood today, so let's not talk about disappointing books. Let's just talk in general. I hate when a book leaves on a cliffhanger and the next book's not out. Like, isn't that disappointing? I have to wait to hear about the cliffhanger, to get resolution for the cliffhanger. Like, uh, that just gets to me. Especially when the book is postponed and you have to wait even longer for it. Not my favorite. Welcome Home, a new book or series that gives you the warm feelings of home. Now, I was going to say Hannah Swenson, but at this point, it's no longer a new series to me because I'm almost finished that series. So I'm going to say the um, Maggie Hope series. I'll put a little picture here. I'm enjoying those ones. I enjoy Maggie Hope as a character and everything that she's getting into. And it's a cozy mystery. It's an historical fiction. It is everything that I need in a series especially a mystery series. Roughing It. Name a book that has a journey or travel element to it. Okay. Fable Haven and the whole Fable Haven series. Wow, I think um, this whole tag is going to be talking about series. But Fable Haven, because wow, in each book they go through an adventure or a journey. And things happen, and you know that Kendra and Seth, I forgot his name, wow, Kendra and Seth um, have grandparents that are the caretakers of Fablehaven, and they don't know it until this first book. And it's just a journey and a beloved, amazing journey throughout the whole of the five books. If you haven't read it, you need to read it. Marking Your Territory, a book or series that you will always stand by no matter what. Well, hello, Hannah Swenson, Fable Haven. There's so many. The Raven Cycle. Um, I think most of everything that I read is series, or almost series. Almost everything that I read are series. So, everything. We'll just say everything. Digging Holes, a book that had some hidden secrets or had a big plot twist uncovered. And I'm going to say The Dresden Files because there was some stuff in there that we kind of knew they were going to go there but didn't expect them to go there and bloody hell, they went there. Mm. But still, great series as well. Stand By Me. Name a book or series that portrayed a very loyal friendship between characters. Oh, like, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk about the same things, but hello, Hannah Swenson, The Dresden Files, The Raven Cycle. A lot, a lot of them. A lot of them. I don't even know where to begin, where to end. There, well, I did begin because I said a couple, but there are so many of those. Tug of War. A book you had very mixed feelings about. Uh, I tried to forget the ones I have very mixed feelings about. Lately, lately or recently, I read the um, Charlotte Holmes series and I have very mixed feelings about that. 
series and have put off reading the fourth book, which might give me some answers and help me with those mixed feelings, but that is at the point where I am right now. Um, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Because I try to tend to forget the rest of them. Because, you know, brain only has so much room and I have to get rid of all that other garbage that's in there. Treats. A book that you are super excited about and will reward yourself by reading it. Now, there's a couple of these. They're not out yet. But when they do come out, I'm going to get those. Gilded by Marissa Meyer. That was the cover was just revealed recently, as you probably saw on one of my vlogs. But that is a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin, and I'm looking forward to that one. I enjoy Marissa Meyer, so I'm waiting for that. And then there's Horseman by um, Christina Henry, which is a retelling of Sleepy Hollow. Yes, you heard me correctly, a retelling of Sleepy Hollow. I have no idea when that one's coming out, but boy, am I looking forward to that one. Then tag some other booktubers and share a little bit about your pets. Well, this is the, the problem that I have. I know that it just says share a little bit about your pets, but I'm going to try to insert them here and I'll work out some editing magic because some of them don't like the camera and some of them are just you know what they are they're just you know cats and they like to run away or they just don't do what you want them to do but i love them anyway so i have three cats just in case this doesn't work out uh first one is watson yes 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 named after the character dr watson then there's the middle child which is uh cat number two which is pepper and She's got that spicy attitude, that one. And then there's the third and the youngest. And that is my little Luna. And she is the one that I have to be careful of more often than not because she's the one that gets a lot of um, health issues and has a lot of things that I need to take care of. But she's adorable and hopefully. I can put something in here. I will not be tagging anybody um, because I'm late on the game. This has been out there. If you want to do this tag and you have pets, please do. If you want to do this tag and you don't have them, do it anyway. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tag from me. If you did, please press the thumbs up button, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you again the next time. This is my boy Watson, and he is beautiful and kind and loves people and loves to talk. He is very, very, very talkative, as you've heard in some of my videos. This is Pepper. She is the middle one, and as you can tell, she doesn't like the camera. She is a bit feisty when she wants to be, and she's lovely. She is beautiful and she likes making sure that the other two get their exercise. This here is my youngest Luna. She is sweet and fun and loving and she is always one that needs a cuddle and knows when you need one too.